and hello. Welcome back to the Extreme Shopping Network, hosted here on Black Friday at Meltdown Comics. Take a look at what our friend Ariel of Bra Black Brain has just brought to our live studio here on the sales floor, and, and like here in the middle of Meltdown, surrounded by great art. He's just one up to everybody <laughs> and everything in this room with this outstanding art, these great pieces. Uh, of which many of them are available on t-shirts. Uh, Rel, yeah. Ar Ariel of Black Brain, you've got to tell us, man. Because yeah. this stuff is so inspired, so inspired. Yeah. All right, tell me. All right, thank you, Clifford. Uh, so I love mashups. Like, I love uh, getting pop culture icons visually, like throwing them together and see what makes sense, what sticks, what was uh, accidental. Like, and one of the things that came out of that was what I call Star Wars which is the Wizard of Oz and Star Wars <laughs> uh. put together. Talk about two huge <laughs> like children, like icons of, like, of my growing up. Things like, that I think really I've visually watched, speak to us like, I've watched those at least 100 times each. Yeah, you know, like, hell yeah, hell exactly. you know, Each episode and, and the Wizard of I Oz. I never thought of it. And uh, the first thing I did, it was so funny, was the Tin Man and C-3PO because I was like, oh, look, they're both metal. You know, like, yeah. that's an easy visual alignment. Yeah. And then I put it together and I was like, Mm, you know, that worked really well, <laughs> like scary how well it worked, that I like took a stab at the rest of them, and sure enough, like everybody lined up. You know, the nice. Scarecrow lines up with, with Han Solo, uh, Cowley, the Cowley Lion lines up with Chewbacca. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dorothy lines up with Leia. Sure. Vader lines up with the witch. And then the funny thing <laughs> is, when like I started <laughs> looking at it deeper, yeah. not only do they line up, visually the archetypes are almost identical wow yeah you know like the you tin know? man is like the conscious the robot that's the conscious of the group yes you know the lion is this large beast that's afraid of everything yeah you know the, <laughs> yeah, the scarecrow like chewy. yeah chewy would rather dodge yeah, yeah always he's like he's always dodge. running and like like screaming and howling and then uh the um han, han solo yeah and the oh, scarecrow? scarecrow are your brainless heroes, like fearless, heroic, but have no brains. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and it, it, got, it got to the point that, oh, even like Vader, you know, is like evil because of heartbreak. Yeah. Uh, of, you know, like a past heartbreak. Yeah. Uh, and it got me thinking, I think Luke is cheated. A you know, bit. yes, arch <laughs> archetypes that we find, we, you know, I never thought of this connection until you said this, yeah. that we're the kind of folks who would see the Wizard of Oz as many times as we would have seen mm -hmm. Star Wars, yeah. which gives us this stronger imprint of, of these characters and these images like forever. Yeah. And I never thought of how closely aligned these yeah. were until and now. It, and it's amazing which because- Which is brilliant. That's quite brilliant. Because all of them, all the characters are kind of going in their own path of conquering something. Mm. You know, like the yeah. idea of the, the brainless hero, he's conquering stupidity. You know, the idea of the cowardly lion, you know, he's conquering cowardice you know, co conquering heartlessness, mm -hmm. you know, and then yeah. like, then just being able to um, go through your own insecurities and everything else to be able to appreciate what you have, you know, right like even with Leia, you know, like, she didn't really like, you know, Solo until later because she got to appreciate, you know, his brass ways and everything else. Yeah, yeah, you know? that's brilliant. So yeah, this <laughs> is a red letter day for Star Wars fans. Yeah. Like you were all over that trailer <laughs> this morning, right? <laughs> Am I right? Because this just <laughs> happened a few hours ago. That, am I right? Yeah, it plays twice. Yeah, it <laughs> played twice. Our, our producer, Justin, was at the El Capitan Theater at a 7 a.m. showing of a movie he didn't want to see. Just to see this trailer. He paid $10 to see a he trailer. He paid $10 to see Big Hero 6. And he and says it was worth it. So. Just wanted to watch the trailer. <laughs> Did you actually stay for the film? No. No, he just saw the trailer twice. That's brilliant. So brilliant. <laughs> So we've got these uh, we've got these great ideas, and you as an artist have put these together. Yeah. And and what have we got? Like um, um, so so I, I work out of this um, this uh, collaborative art uh, laboratory called Nomad Los Angeles, hmm. and they're in uh, Frogtown, um, in the middle of like urban urban LA yeah, yeah. between you know Atwater Echo Park and and downtown like right in the midst of it, and it's. And it's been amazing because I've gone back to my roots as an analog artist. You know, like yeah. I get my hands inked up, my clothes, like even my nice clothes, there's like ink spattered everywhere. Just like 
like just playing playing with dirt. Really, I love but it. Getting your hands know, dirty and getting everything. Yeah, the the inky version. <laughs> uh, so That's so that cool. so so working there has been a, an amazing experience, and I like really fell in love with the silk screen process because, you know, working oh, yeah. working as a digital artist, yeah. you know, you're limited by hours. You know, you got budget for like five hours. Mm -hmm. You know, like yeah. any great artist drawer tell you like five hours is enough for a really good sketch you know but what's yeah. beautiful with silk screening is that i could spend 40 hours 100 i like some of these you know 40 hours like yeah. the detail on them is ridiculous yeah. and, and you can do that silk screen right to the level because you want. because the silk screen i could reproduce it over and over and over so i get right. like so much bang for like those hours versus it being like an hourly check you know that's um, super cool so yeah. it's, it really like changed my perspective on things and and um, and like even for example, this is my like super sci-fi silly side. You know, over here I have a little bit my more cerebral, uh, beautiful stuff, and it's like these again still mashing up. I'm doing these uh, beautiful flowers mixed with like oh, skeletal cool. like vertebrae. Oh, dude, you those know, are it's so like cool. ridiculous, like detail illustrated, like medical illustration style with and then like taking the that mass beautiful taking that mass production aspect and then throwing in some custom Here. watercolor to Let's really make it feel like uh hand done um that is super, super hand done cool. and, and every hey, one of them can we show this justin on the close-up camera and a little bit different you hold know? on real t yeah because he's going to switch to that camera now you're there there you go there you go and if you tilt the glare down a bit, a bit everyone can see that's perfect that's there great you go. Uh, that looks really great dude so you have you have prints available yeah you've also got t-shirts available so check thank out, you check out screening. yeah check out the etsy link yeah um i have a, a mix of some of my silly pop stuff some of my more cerebral like heavy illustration if you guys are just stuff. noticing this the the link on this uh, lower third is a clickable link on your screen and you can go straight to the etsy that you have right there and yeah. what kind of you've got all sizes available unisex yeah. sizes for the shirt um it's it's a uh, it's a slimmer, it's a slim fit shirt. It's technically a men's shirt, but it, 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 the smalls and the extra smalls run really well for girls. Right on. Um, and then also on the Etsy, I have a promotional code specifically for Meltdown TV, and the code is Meltdown TV, all lowercase, and that'll get you 25% off uh, any purchase. So that's you know, excellent. Hit it up, like, excellent. You know, you're you're getting a great deal. Um, and again, like follow the link, and if you want to check out like, just more process things, things like that, you can go to uh, blackbrain.la, or you can go to my Instagram, which is at blackbrain.la. And That's again, all, all one word, blackbrain.la blackbrain for the main site. For the main site, you know, it's nice. not .com, it's .la. You know, because we are in LA, guys. Everything on. we do is LA. You know, like LA is the epicenter of of the world really you know echo like, parque. like if you if you're known in la like it echoes around the world so i just you know said forget why, forget why commerce why is LA the, the heart of art right now? well i'll tell you there was a big exodus of artists from the san francisco area when all the rents went up in the 80s and mi early 90s and they all moved down here to the la area that's part of the recipe another part of the recipe we've got great schools we've got great like like we've got cal arts we've got some great places for yeah. like students to study and take up the arts. And the third big reason, you're in the middle of an industry town. Everyone around here is a digital artist, uh, post-production, sound editing, visual effects. People are a lot, a lot of physical artists yeah. take their disciplines and work in the movie business and in television as well. well I mean, something that I noticed too in LA that it will, like really shocked me is that you can go into a coffee shop and talk to a 12-year-old kid that'll tell you his passion and what he wants to do with his life and people will take him at his word uh -huh. and respect him. Uh -huh. You know, like you go to my hometown in Miami, it's like, unless you're like 40 something and you have like this cush 100K job, right. what you say doesn't matter. Right. You know, so it's like a really different mentality where everyone like right. treats each other with yeah. an amazing respect for pursuing their passion because everyone's in LA, like 80% of us are transplants. Yes. You know, like we came yeah. With a vision, with You're a dream. You're a Floridian too, right? Yeah. yeah. See, yeah. I'm an East Coast Florida boy. Yeah. I'm from Daytona Beach and New Smyrna oh, Beach. Miami, You're from Miami. Like We're from the East Coast of Florida. Yeah, so. This is true. He's totally right. In this town in LA, <laughs> you can sit across the desk from, from somebody and say, here's my artwork, here's my project, and the other person at that desk will write you a big fat check. <laughs> and they will, they will produce. <laughs> Unassuming, tattered pants, whatever. Yeah, sure. Like, Every artist yeah. is out there with a proof of concept, 
right? Yeah. With a demo, you want to create a new show or a new art piece or a new project. LA is so happening. It is a really, yeah. really, really happening town for all kinds of reasons. And I love this guy. I love this and guy. Another thing that was really interesting too is like, like downtown, you know, before like there, there's been a lot of development in LA and it's just been like growing and every neighborhood is now yeah. getting like gorgeous and beautiful. But there was a part, a time when, um, you know, downtown was like dirty and grimy. And the amazing thing is like broke artists, you know, <laughs> like, like us when we're like, like getting established, everything else. We'll go to these places, and given freedom, we'll make it beautiful. Yeah. And now you l you go to downtown arts district, and it's like every building is covered with murals, and yes. that's expanded to Melrose, that's expanded to La Brea, yeah, that's yeah, expanded to Culver City, that's expanded everywhere. The, yeah. You know, and it was like this. Art like in the public space has gone out like of control. It's out of control. Like it is great. Koreatown has an Obey piece now. Like, oh, that's yo. for real. Oh, for real, <laughs> Shepard Fairey? Yeah. It's for real. Okay. You know. It's so brilliant. Remember the Banksy piece that he did over the Disney billboard? Yeah. It was a two blocks down the road on Sunset Boulevard, the one that they took down the next day. Remember that? He, uh, yeah. he did this crazy, you know, um, uh, Minnie Mouse, the, like a hooker version of Minnie Mouse, yeah. over a Disney ad or something. It was, I remember that. It was so great. And that's hilarious. That's a great segue. Like, there's this other, like, edgier um, street art piece inspired by. I love you know, it. Star Wars and some other stuff going on with, with Miley. Like, I think Miley is like a brilliant entertainer who's like just having a blast. And I, I chuckle at it. So, you know. Oh, dude, that is like so <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> old golden, yeah. It's totally. Like, it's like, it's like a, a quadruple layered, you know, like the delivery is oh really yeah. crass and whatever. If you don't see it, that's fine. But, you this know. This is like so great. Oh, my. Uh, A famous Star Wars, like a Tops, a Tops collector card. Yes. <laughs> oh, because of something that's in front of him in the shot, right? Yeah, that it, it came out like chromoly. He's in gold. That part came out chromoly, and everyone thought it was. Really? Um, Whoa! See, an extrusion. Oh no! Tooth. What an Im impressive bit of robotic, uh, an impressive bit of robotic genitalia. And like, and you I'm read sure. it like, you ah. know, he has that really quirky voice, and his oh my is just like ring. Anthony Daniels, believe oh. it or not, this is a, this is a bit of a mind blowing thing. Our voice of C-3PO was also the voice of Legolas the Elf in the first Lord of the Rings film in 1978. Bam! Bam! Did you know that? No. Yes. No. Yes. Our boy Legolas the Elf, who would later be played by Orlando Bloom. Decades later, back in the late 70s, he was played by C-3PO. He was the voice of Legolas. Weird, but true. And now, it comes full circle because our boy Andy Serkis, who is Gollum, and he's now going to be in the new Episode 7, Star Wars <laughs> The Force Awakens. Did you know that? No. There it is. There's more weird Lord of the Rings and Star Wars crossovers. Maybe, maybe that's the next mashup. Bring it together. <laughs> yeah, you know, Andy Serkis, and everyone's like speculating, was that his voice in the trailer this morning? Yeah. And uh, it's not him, but it did sound like Benedict Cumberbatch, our friendly dragon, Smaug. You know him. Anyways, well, <laughs> nerd, nerd talk. I'm gonna deep. I'm gonna fall into that hole of talking like a geek. It's gonna happen. It's bound to happen. <laughs> Somebody so out there probably totally is, is tracking with you. Well, I'm like believing it. These guys my, are with my us. My geekology is like pretty good, but I don't have a doctorate like Clifford over it's here. It's exceptional, sir. Exceptional. Thank no. Thank you. Let's, <laughs> what's your price point on your t-shirts, and uh, how fast do you want people to order so they can get it by Christmas? Um, so we're doing sales yeah, for Black so, Friday. So everything is 100% cotton shirts. Pre-shrunk? Uh, I'm not sure if they're pre-shrunk. They usually are. They usually are. Yeah. Uh, if it's 100% cotton, it's usually pre-shrunk. Yep, yep. Um, and then I have them on the Cypher 25 with the promo code um, Meltdown TV, lowercase, no spaces. You're going to get 25% off. You're yeah. looking at $20 plus shipping. And you enter that promo code uh, uh, at the end of your purchase. At the end of the shopping cart. You know. Meltdown TV, all Meltdown lowercase. Meltdown TV, all lowercase. It's very and, cool. Um, and if you, if you order anything before, I would, just to be safe, before the December 15th, um, you should be able to get it within 10 days. Excellent. You know, and in the United States. And the, uh, all the other rest prints? of the world. I'm sorry. Do you you got to order by tomorrow. Do you have any one of a kind stuff uh, that, that is not for sale? I'm sure these great big pieces here on wood. Yeah, these one of a kind pieces um, are for sale, but I, I'm trying to hold on to them for um, showing my, my yeah. solo show first. Hell yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And I and I do uh, what I Excellent. do. What I do is I also do um, 
uh, on pieces on wood. You know, like if you any of these, if you want to do a custom order, you can say, hey, I want it on wood, and then I'll do a mix of, of wheat paste and some street art, like spray paint, uh -huh. you know, just to make it like one of a kind, not non-reproducible, you know, take a little longer, cost a little bit more, but you know, at the end of the day. Excellent. You know, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I I'm this. like later on today, I'm tearing down at this show that I had in uh, NoHo, so I'll have a bunch of like, because I do these on canvas, I'll do For it on real? Wood. You're going to be in NoHo later? Let's yeah. go to Skinny's Lounge and have a drink later, Fine. right? Let's go. We'll have a PBR <laughs> at Skinny's Lounge. Or maybe we'll get something to eat at the Federal, because I love hanging around in NoHo. Yeah. And another one, a great comic book store who's a friend of ours is um, <coughs> Emerald Knights, and they're down there in the, uh, on the edge of North Hollywood in Burbank. Oh, super cool. Yeah. And right now we're actually working on um, this tea shop gallery right on, on Vinland on in NoHo that's going to like really bring a lot of like edgy art, street art, and working on like some murals and stuff that's yeah. going to be happening there. And they're going to be opening in January. So, you know, like, again, follow the Instagram, Black Brain LA, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. to keep posted on some of that progress. Full, the full Instagram account is Black Brain LA. The website is blackbrain.la, yeah. not .com. And we, we <laughs> throw everybody off because we do the onering.net, and that, yeah. that makes people just scramble <laughs> for their keyboard. <laughs> they can't do it. And uh, this is really, what is your favorite? Of all the mashups, which, which one is your favorite? Oh, it's not even showing right now. It's not even here? Re really? Yeah. So. You don't have it yet? Hey, so can we bring it up me, to you? Follow me on Instagram. And I'll all right. Yeah, I could. I could, I could uh, he can I show you a preview. He can show you a preview right here. I can bring right one up. Here. And uh, then you've got to follow him on Instagram, and he'll actually post it. Um, Three guys. Oh, dude. See? This is so cool. <laughs> oh, there it is. So this, this one... I'm really going to love this one more because, <coughs> so this series is my Malcolm X series. And, uh, <laughs> and it's funny because like, like nice. the, the X-Men was started in reaction to the civil rights movement of the 70s and just throwing it back with everything going on right now with, I don't even need to go into details, you know what's going on. Um, like it's just ripe for like making three panel comic strips reinterpreting everything that's like you can't even write the stuff that's going on right? yeah it's like between drones and kids getting shot by you know mm -hmm. who and, and police getting whatever. away with it yeah. and, and like yeah. you know authority getting away with it and you know like you can like work both sides you know like magneto side of like hey we got to keep the illusion of safety to you know the gandhi as the professor x like, oh, we need to be pacifists, too. The, so there's know. Gandhi as Professor X. I love <laughs> yeah. these guys. And every, all of these major figures uh, in the civil rights movement and, and from other and philosophical... And then, and then even like, and I even have, you know, POTUS up in there, Ice Bama. Uh -huh. you know, and it depends how you, you see it. You can either say he's cool as a mug or he's ice cold. Yeah. Um, oh, nice. Like okay, there's that a seems little open-ended... That seems to be the general consensus. Either you think he's cool or you think he's ice cold and, you know... Well, <laughs> I think I think the POTUS himself is rather good at straddling the line between the between yeah, the two. That's what's kind of aggravated some people. That he's yeah, he's like with the, yeah. like with the whole thing going on with uh, uh, Michael Brown, you know, it's just like keep calm, you know, like yeah. When I do the version, it's gonna say keep cool. Keep cool. <laughs> you know what? It's brilliant. This is brilliant. And I know I know her, don't I? Yeah, Angela Davis. Z. The Ladies and gentlemen, if I could zoom in, there's a pic and everything. I would never, I, I would never be able to introduce Angela Davis without saying, "Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Miss Angela Davis." <laughs> like the guy who introduces the Grace Jones album. That I went, when the way that, and that happens to be uh, Ian McShane. And your McShane. voice, you have that like soulful R&B voice. It's you can funny. like drop it down. I'd love it. No, I do, I do voice, uh, voiceover stuff. Wait, do it again. Do the, it way, again. the way Ian McShane <laughs> introduces Grace Jones on that record, I want to introduce Angela Davis the same way. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miss, <laughs> I was about to say Grace. <laughs> I was about to say Grace. I've known that so long. It's always Grace Jones. Like, Ladies and gentlemen, Miss <laughs> Angela Davis. Davis, the rhythm. La, 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 la. Remember that album? Anyways, whatever. He did it again. He went there. I went Somebody there. out I went there, there again. you got it. Mm. There's a mashup. <laughs> Angela Davis, Grace Jones. There's a mashup for you. Eh, uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> this dude is so awesome. Okay, you got to find more of our friend, Ariel, yep. of Black Brain. Thank He's going to find him on blackbrain.la. And there's a, a link, clickable link right here on our caption. Click it and check out where you can get his shirts and his uh, screen prints and a limited edition prints. 
This is hysterical. The Princess Leia C-3PO um, uh, twerking, because you've got to twerk. You <laughs> got, sometimes you just twerk got to twerk. This is so funny. I love it. Good. Thank you, Clifford. It's a pleasure. Uh, uh, welcome to Meltdown, man. Thank you, Meltdown. Yeah, this is yeah. good stuff. And uh, thank you, Nomad. Uh, and uh, where will we see you, you next? Guys. Will we see you at the next, you know, uh, downtown art walk? Uh, soon? I'll, I'll probably be at the downtown art walk. Uh, I think this Sunday I'll be at Melville's Trading Post. Um, Excellent. And then we're going to be doing something at Nomad Los Angeles uh, for some some ghetto rap. Cool. You know, Very like cool. custom silk screen wrapping paper, gangster uh, rap. I dig it. Gangster rap. Uh, so you can come get you know local silk screen stuff from myself and a few other artists, including uh, Damon, who runs the shop and is a great mentor and friend. And uh, yeah, you know. Like, Good. love it. And then we're going to have a drink. Yes. And relax. <laughs> after hours. That'll be torn after dark. Keep cool. Keep cool. Bye, guys. Thanks for joining us. Right, we'll be back. Care, we'll be back on the air in just a little bit. <coughs> Cheers.